Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and uh, talking of antennas, we don't talk about antennas a lot here and um, this is something that I wanted to uh, talk about um, mostly here the difference between my ham radio antenna that uh, I've posted a video to show you what it's all about compared to my MLE 30 um, I've definitely had some observations as I'm tuning the same signals on the international broadcast bands and the utility bands on both and I could see a, a difference and um, you know when we talk about the MLE 30 it's a great antenna for noise but I often say if you're not in a noisy environment the wire antennas will perform better most of the time it's really in a uh, special case that the MLE 30 becomes a lifesaver because of the noise floor that is lower. It actually makes you listen to signals that you might have lost with the regular wire. So uh, this is, of course, the uh, box where the antenna arrives, the V-shaped antenna that I'm showing. This is the connector that goes to my Yesu transceiver. In this box, there's a uh, unbalanced and balanced transformer. It matches the wire to my transceiver because just the wire alone would not my transceiver could not tune that it needs to have a matching impedance in order for that to work well it's not much of a problem in reception in uh, standard radio so we don't usually you know some do but most people don't use you know uh, a ballon or whatever to match the antenna because it's not as important, even though, yeah, you can maybe gain a little bit of signal. It's not as important in receive in general. Also, a lot of radios have what we call IZ inputs, which are I impedance inputs perfect for wire antennas. Now, um, to this box is these two V-shaped wires. So I've got one wire that goes here to that pole there. The other wire here goes to the tree there. They are roughly the same length and basically have this V shape of uh, uh, that is my main antenna for the transceiver in the backyard. It's surprisingly good. Honestly, I've been having a lot of success. Uh, if it wasn't for the noise floor, uh, this would be a great antenna because I made contacts and easily made contacts with a lot of stations uh, in Europe and Northern Europe the Caribbean region, uh, a lot of stations in the U.S., uh, up to California on the West Coast. It seems to do a good job. And, um, you know, uh, this is what I'm getting uh, for my ham transceiver that works decently well. Now, one of the things about the um, the um, this as a receive antenna compared to the MLA-30 um, is where I, where I notice there's a difference. It's where the MLA 30 um, lacks in sensitivity. And typically what I noticed is that the um, lower frequencies, a lot of the lower frequencies propagate better. And there's a lot of signals that actually are stronger on my Yesu than they will be on my other radios with the MLA 30 plugged in. Uh, so, depending on the signal, not all bands, it doesn't work like that on all bands. There are bands where the MLE-30 outperforms. There are signals that the MLE-30 gets better because it has less noise. There are signals also in a higher frequency range that I noticed that the, um, the, the wire antenna, my V-shaped wire, also seems to receive better. But the problem is the V-shaped antenna gets more noise on many signals than the MLE-30. So, I'll you know often use the MLE-30 on other radios for that purpose, but it's surprising. There are differences, and um, I'm trying to find a way to make a couple of videos showing the same signals on the two different antennas uh, with radios and see how I could bring that as a visual to you guys. But uh, definitely I've been noticing differences on both antennas, which is totally normal, uh, by the way. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.